Hello guys! Welcome back to Hostinger Academy. My name is Victoria and today we will quickly learn about what is a domain name and how does it work. So let's not waste any more time and let's get to it. If you're a beginner and starting your own personal blog or online business, you might have heard that you need a hosting for your website. But what's important is that you also need a domain name. Every website that you visit consists of two main elements, a domain name and a web server. So, a domain name is an essential part of owning a website because without one, users will not be able to easily access your website. To simply put, a domain name is your website's online address that people put in their browsers. For example, you need a street address to fill in GPS to get directions, so a web browser requires a domain name to point you to a website. Without a domain, to reach a particular website, you would have to remember a specific IP address, which consists of many numbers. It will be impossible to remember all of them, so that's why we have a word-based format. When you type a domain name into the web browser, it sends a request to domain name system, or in short, DNS servers. Then DNS searches through all registered IP addresses and then connects that domain with the required one. A domain name consists of unique name and extension chosen by the user. For example, hostinger.com. Hostinger is a website's name and .com is the main name extension. So you are able to choose your desired domain name and extension from a domain name registrar or hosting provider. But it's worth noting that it's only possible to register an existing domain name with a valid domain extension that other people or businesses don't already own. There are different types of domains, but let's look at the most common ones. Top-level domains, country code top-level domains, and generic top-level domains. Top-level domains are extensions that are listed at the highest level in the domain name system. There are a lot of different TLDs available, but the most popular ones are .com, .org, .net. Country code TLDs use just two letters based on international country code, for example .us for United States or .jp for Japan. Generic TLDs are non-country specific top-level domains, and most of them are intended for specific use case. For example, the most common and familiar examples are com for commercial or edu for educational and so on. And that concludes today's video. Now you know what the main name is and all you need to do is choose one and register it. If you need more information about web hosting or which one to choose, check out our video what is web hosting. And if you have any questions about the main names or anything else, shoot them in the comments below and I will get back to you. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and subscribe for more content. See you next time!